Well, I'm a bit of a crazy idiot today. I haven't been shopping in, I don't know how long, but I kind of spent a lot today, not on purpose. I don't know what came over me, but I was just like, mm. yeah. Today I'm coming at you with a spring edition in my wardrobe kind of haul and today I just popped out and because I've been cooped up in the house since Monday well I had my driving lesson on Monday but um yeah I haven't been out the house since then I've just been trying to revise loads and stuff and today I thought I'd go out into the world and just see things and if you notice that I have new hair I do have new hair and there is something spiking out here um, but it's not finished yet, it has been bleached and it's not finished yet. Yeah, that's why it's up in braids so no one can really see the wrongness of some of it. I think I'll just start off with... This isn't Jack Wills but you know how you have to pay 5 people bags? So I'm reusing my Jack Wills bag. This is actually Primark. Okay, let's get the boring stuff done. This is 5 pairs of arch support with antibacterial shoe liners. These were £2.50 and I needed some new socks that were black. This I tried on in the changing room and I thought I liked it and I don't know if I should have gotten the blue as a feminine touch and it's got a, like a pink almost raspberry red type of um, stripe and it's is this vertical or horizontal? It, this is horizontal stripes so it's gonna make you appear slim and a bit more tall and it does have a collar I did pick up a beigey striped one but that, didn't, that was collarless and it was £10 and I couldn't justify a collarless one from Primark for £10 when this was £8 I got this in size 12 for some bagginess and I just want to tuck this in my jeans for a smarter look or like have it like billowy for a more casual vibe or even open shirt with a top underneath that would be really nice for this spring season and it's quite a nice lightweight material as well okay these they look like leggings but I swear they're not these are like jogging bottoms but they're not they're they're made of like a nice thin kind of um, shirty material but also they're quite elasticated and they're kind of slim as well so they fit against the body they're kind of like smart casual jogging trousers and it has some gold detailing at the front which I'm not too fussed about I just like that it has a drawstring and you can ruche it up at the front to make it look like the paper bag type of trousers and I really like it okay this dress I don't know if I'm going to keep it's kind of an um ah uh, type of one but this is a Primark dress I saw one similar in a charity shop once and it fitted really nicely uh, but it was a bit short and it was from Zara and it's like the same type of dress, same type of material, denim and same type of look. However, it was short so I didn't get it. But this one is not as short but it does come up halfway up the thigh kind of and I got this in a size 12. I did try on size 10 but I just couldn't because it just didn't fit round the bus. So yeah, I got this one. This was £14. I thought it was going to be 12 but it was 14 I mean, it's a really nice denim wash and it's quite a light denim, not one of those heavy denims. And that's all I got in Primark. Yeah. Okay, Victoria's Secret. I'm not going to go into too much detail but I basically got a bra from Victoria's Secret and it looks like that. It's lacy at the front and it has a little bow and it's got lace there so I was just looking around in Victoria's Secret not knowing what to do with myself because it's quite a uh, intimidating shop kind of because it has loads of bras and knickers everywhere there's some men in there as well so you're just like feeling a bit uncomfortable sometimes these men were looking at these um thongs and laughing and I was just like oh, get me out of here but the line in Marks and Spencer's was really long to try on bras and I didn't have enough time on me to do that and just wait. So I went to Victoria's Secret. Didn't really, well I did have an intention of buying a bra. But I didn't intend on paying that much for a bra. And But the lady was so nice and she 
fitted me right there and then. And I said that I'm a blah blah blah. I actually don't mind sharing the size, but I don't know if it's appropriate to, or if it's appropriate to show that. But anyway, so she said that I'm the right size, and I should go and try on either this cup size or the other cup size. I tried on the other one, that one was a bit too much and too baggy. Um, I think she said this was a balconette, balconette bra, a balcony bra, something like that. Get ready for it. 39.50, can someone kill me now please? But I wanted some support and hopefully this is gonna give me support. Oh, an Amazon order that I got today. I signed up to Prime. So, oh my gosh, it's already open. How annoying is that? Anyway, Amazon. Oh, okay. So I got because I'm doing my hair blonde. This is a toner. This is the Weller Color Charm in T18 Lightest Ash Blonde. I see loads of people use this on YouTube, and it's just floating around with the internet. But it's really hard to get in the UK, just in stores. So I got this online on Amazon, as I said, and this was. 7.90 or so I can't remember it doesn't have a delivery note either so yeah and then also to go with that I got the cream developer in 20 volume and this is also Weller and using them coordinatingly I think this was 5.90 so I want for a nice cool toned because it's kind of coming up quite red um, caramelly don't really like that although I don't want to go silver I don't know. I do have silver at the ends. Uh, this was a free makeup gift in Superdrug and hashtag no filter needed. I don't want this. Oh, so I got the Jerome, Jeremy, Jerome Brussel B Blonde. Uh, this is for light to dark brown hair, maximum blonding kit, and this has a powder bleach with cream peroxide. That sounds so scary. Should have all the things that I need to continue doing my hair. That was $4.99, I think. Uh, I got the John Frieda Frizz Ease 3 Day Straight Semi Permanent Styling Spray and I really wanted this for my hair, obviously, because I like to have straight hair, give me straighter hair every day because I don't want to start heat style it every day just to get straight hair, um, especially if I've got bleached hair which is damaged already. I got the Tony and Guy Casual Texture Matte Spray and I saw Essie Button use this back in the day uh, for some zhuzh and for matte finish like texture in the hair as well. I've never tried it before because it's always been quite pricey, but I saw this for $2.99 and I grabbed it straight away. Rimmel London Super Gel in Soul Session. I've seen this loads of times on loads of beauty bloggers' websites and, um, oh my gosh, I need a tissue. And it's quite a milky toned pink and it's so gorgeous. I just want it on my nails now, but because I always bite my nails, I just need something to just sit on it so I don't bite them off. $3.98. Um, this is the Dove Summer Glow Nourishing Lotion. I don't know if you can tell but I have fake tanned so I'm a lot darker than I'm not than I'm not usually than I'm usually and I want to keep that going and I'm gonna go back to this. Okay I've never heard of this brand before um, but it's Expel Hair Care and I don't know what this is. These are like shots for your hair. Complete silver treatment in-depth care for your hair. So shimmer of silver shots have been specially formulated using keratin to restore damaged hair. Okay I don't know why it's like reference to silver but that's kind of, that's really weird. There's shots for your hair. Anyway I just picked it up because I thought hmm. Okay we have some argan oil hair treatment shots too. Thought that would help my hair as well. Those two were a pound each. Super drug, super drug, super drug. So I got that free makeup bag. Oh, those things were for, from Savers, which is a super drug outlet. So everything is just a tad bit cheaper than what they do in super drug. But in super drug, I got that free makeup bag. And I got 
because they were doing three for two on every single makeup product in there. And so I got the Radiant, Radiant Lights palette with the three highlighters. Um, so there's three highlighters in here. I literally just grabbed this because she was like, well, if you get another product, then you could get it for free. And I was like, yes. So I ran and I looked at everything. I was just like, everything's literally sold out. Like all of the contour kits and yeah. So this was kind of the last one of that. And all of these packagings have literally, like people have opened them, but I've checked them to see if they've swatched any. And no one's swatched anything, so I'm happy with that. It's okay. And I got the, oh, I'm so excited for this, look, someone's put like lipstick on here and like the packaging is just gone. This is the Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave. I'm so excited about this. I saw this on the British Beauty Bloggers uh, blog and it looked absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, it comes with a brush. Didn't know that. And, oh. Let me try and open it. Why is it not open? I know why it's not opening because that freaking brush is stuck there. What am I supposed to do now? Anyway, I'll do a cutaway when I can open it. How am I supposed to get that brush out? That is so annoying. Super job don't even do returns, so yeah. Oh, I heard Tati from Glam Life Guru talk about this, and this is the Revolution Bronze Ultra Bronze, no, Ultra Professional Bronze Palette. And it has eight high payoff blush of powders they're not blushes they're all bronzers and you guys know I love my bronzer and I absolutely love bronzer so here we go look how beautiful they are but I think it comes with two highlighters and loads of bronzers so I'm just gonna swish everything about and just put it on my face because I love I didn't intentionally want to go to MAC to buy this well, I did, but I didn't, but I had to go in and swatch loads of highlighters for my sister. And I fell in love with some highlighters, but I didn't get one, because I'm a good person. Nah. <laughs> anyway, so in that, I got... I've always wanted this lipstick, because I saw Desi Perkins use this on the Kylie Jenner Golden Globes makeup, and it looked awesome. And I love kind of like these yellow toned nudes if it comes out and this is naturally transformed which is a matte lipstick and oh no I can't wait to use it it's so beautiful muted toned nudie peachy like kind of like concealer lips kind of lips yeah okay so the big shebang here is from Urban Outfitters and this is kind of an impulse purchase oh I didn't say how much the palettes were and things oh. This was £8, the Radiance Highlight Palette. Fortune Favours the Brave. This was only oh, the only one left. How sad is that? That was £9.99. And the Bronze Palette was £6. So, in Urban Outfitters, I've always wanted this bag because it's so big and you look really cool when you're like when you have it on your shoulder because it's just so huge and it just looks really cool um, but yeah ah! <laughs> so I wasn't really looking for anything in Urban Outfitters but I've always loved to go in there because it's just so nice and I didn't get anything from Topshop this time around because they just didn't have the thing that I wanted in stock which were dungarees but I got this bag from Urban Outfitters and this was originally what I did want I just couldn't justify paying £46 for it and it was in sale and it, they put it down to £22 then I got my student discount from uni days on and it came 1980 and I think I'm going to use it for college I was going to say school it's just it's got three compartments let me show you and there's like yeah there's like a compartment in the middle which I think I'd stick my laptop in because it is padded and it's by Dina and Ozzy. I used to have a purse by them and I absolutely adored it. But yeah, this is, oh, the lining in this is like suede and it's just so nice. Um, I don't think it's real leather. It's so nice. It's a classic tan colour. that would be really helpful for me in college. I don't know if you can see the mess of my bed though. But okay, today um, I went grocery shopping with my mum. Well, after I went shopping on my own. 
I've got Nivea Daily Essentials Cream Care Cleansing Cream Wash. I like cream washes or emulsifying washes over gel washes always. And this smells like the classic Nivea cream which I adore for my neck because it's just so moisturising. Hopefully this will be nice and good for my skin. This has been a long time coming because I saw, the first time I saw this was on Desi Perkins again on her Instagram and she had the black pair of the Key Australia sunglasses of the On The Prowl and these are <laughs> On The Prowl and these are the tortoise shell ones because that's what they had in Ace on ASOS and they are £30. I got my student discount off and I got them for £27 but I adore this so much. Look at them. I might look like a freaking weirdo so <laughs> yeah. They have the key um, logo on the side of the glasses and it says on the prow in the inner side and it says key australia yeah really happy with this purchase just haven't been able to wear you out yet they have got a mirrored lens a mirrored lens and it's kind of like a lime kind of color and you really can't see your eyes at all apart from if you you know if you go into like a different type of light and uh, in primark today i was trying on the like deal ripoffs and where you know they have like a golden bar over the lenses um i look like a stupid idiot because the ones in primark are tiny um so i didn't get them obviously but uh, this week my trainers came i think it was this week and these are converse i've had two pairs of these already one of them in a the size seven one of them in a the size eight i'm a, still a size eight in converse could do with size eight and a half but i don't think they do that and i got this off of urban outfitters because i had a 15 pound off because i did a survey so i got these and they are just the plain old white converse however i've never had the updated logo on the tongue of the shoe as they would be 45 pounds anyway so i thought i might as well use my 15 pounds off of this and I love them they're just so classic and so easy to wear with like a dress or a skirt if you're going for that casual kind of look or with just trainers and they're just nice trainers I really like them they're like a cult favorite that's all I got thank you for watching I think that's all I got don't shoot me please because I didn't mean to spend this much I probably like return some of the clothes from Primark because it might not work out yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time oh you notice this is a Prada martha sign it's because we were inspired by gossip girl and i've always wanted to do that and there we have it don't know if it's copyright or anything but yeah thank you for watching